In this video, we're going to show you how to create some interesting things you may not have thought you could do with PowerPoint. Like what, you say? You know, I have a friend who's a summer camp director. He showed me this cool thing they do each summer. The kids take pictures of events each day, and then at the end of the week, they have a couple hundred pictures. When the parents come for a lunch at the end of camp week, they show the slideshow. I asked my friend how they managed to organize showing hundreds of slides. All right, this is a PowerPoint video, so you've probably already gathered I'm telling you this story because it involves PowerPoint. And it does. PowerPoint is the key. Here's what you do. First, get all of your pictures in a directory. Then, go to Insert Picture New Photo Album. In the dialog box, Select File, Disk, and browse for your pictures. Select all the images you want in your album. Use Shift-Click or Control-Click to select multiples. In PowerPoint, you can use the arrows at the bottom of the list to move individual slides around, or you can do this directly in PowerPoint sorter view. You can even adjust the pictures for rotation, contrast, and brightness. Once you've adjusted everything to your liking, click Create, and you have an instant slideshow. Now with all the transitioning tricks you know, you can customize it and have it play automatically. Okay, that was pretty neat but it might also create a massive file. Here's a nice tip to help with all those presentations that you can create with a large number of images. First, let's take a look at the size of our photo album. Big file. Now, let's go into View and select Toolbars, Picture. Now, with your image filled presentation open, Select the slide view on the left. Click on one slide, then type Control A to select all of them. On the picture toolbar, click on this little button. It's called Compress Pictures. You'll get a dialog box like this. You'll probably want to apply to all pictures, compress pictures, and delete cropped area. Now, depending on what you have to do with your presentation or photo album, you have to decide to really compress and make it just for the screen, or slightly compress, still allowing for reasonable print quality. It depends on how small you need the file to be and what you're going to do with it. Try it out for yourself and see what happens to your file size. We'll save both versions. And here they are. So, what to do with your fabulous photo album? Why don't we make a website out of it and let everyone see it? Unless your website is secured with a password, don't do this with personal pictures, okay? Go to the File menu and select Save as Web Page. Pick your destination directory, click Save, and there you go. Go ahead and check it by trying to open the file through Internet Explorer. Now you can create web pages with PowerPoint too. You've seen how to insert images, graphics, and sounds into slides already. Well, PowerPoint lets you insert almost any multimedia into slides. Let's take a quick look at inserting hyperlinks and video the video. It's just like inserting a sound or picture and is found in the same place. Go to Insert and select Movie 
and sounds, and then select Movie from File. This will bring up a dialog that will allow you to insert a video clip into your presentation. After you locate your video, select it and click on OK. It will then give you the option of playing the clip automatically or waiting until you click on the video to play it in the presentation. That's pretty straightforward. Now, on to hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are links from within your slides to the internet, other areas in your presentation, or even other files. For example, during your presentation, you might want to be able to have access to some websites. Having them right in your presentation is a great way to do that. Or you might want to jump from one slide to another several slides away. A hyperlink can do that too. Again, this, and it's done the same way you would in any other Microsoft product. Place your cursor on the slide where you want the hyperlink, or select something that you want to serve as a hyperlink. This could be a word, phrase, or object. Then click on the hyperlink button. It's the globe with the chain graphic on it up here. You could also go to the Insert menu and select Insert Hyperlink. Notice on the left here, you have a choice of linking to a file or to the internet or to another slide. We're going to link to the internet. The dialog box will allow you to enter the URL. If you have not highlighted any text on your slide, you can enter the text you want to appear on the screen in this top text field. Just to make sure you don't make any typos or mistakes, especially if it's a long URL, you may want to cut and paste the URL here. We'll use Nortel Learn It for our text and www.nortellearnit.org for the URL. Let's try it out. Great. Okay, I hope you enjoyed all these PowerPoint fun tips. Good work on this one. Yeah, I was really feeling it. <laughs>